Okay, good evening. It's Sunday, August 11, 2024. I'm sitting here at Discata Church. Church was wonderful, as always. I was right in the choir, right at the top of the, of the little choir stand, singing my heart. Nobody was looking at me, but I was still doing a wonderful job. I was like, oh, pow, I was popping them songs out, doing really great. So I'm excited about that. That was wonderful. I'm getting better and better being in the choir. So I'm, I'm getting some learning some valuable materials. I've, you know, got to continue to pray about what God uses my gift of song for in the future. And so I'm um, sitting here in my apartment. You see a little... <laughs> Look at it. it looks decent right now, but <laughs> it looks, look at that. <laughs> After watching these videos about how um, married people that were saying their house wasn't clean, it's not perfect. Like my bathroom needs to be a little bit straightened up. You know, I can't have it nasty, but it's not always perfect when I first walk in. Cause you know, you first walk in, you want to make sure everything's perfect. I just, I got to sit down for a few minutes. I get myself together. I got to reflect and just take 20 minutes, 30 minutes to just relax and stuff like that. So I'm laughing because it looks decent right now from what I just filmed, but the bathroom and my bedroom needs to be a little bit straightened up. So I'm laughing about that. That's funny. I just saw some little videos about that. So anyway, so I'm making this video, the purpose of this video today, in addition to saying the church was wonderful and um, Pastor Joel did a wonderful job. He was preaching about um, how to take hope, whatever the little bit that you have, you know, hold on to that and um, use that because you don't know. Talk about Moses when you have the staff. What is that in your hand? Whatever you have, use that. Don't just waste what you little things that you have um as you continue to believe god for the greater things I'm, i have a little bit right now so that was a perfect message for me but the holy spirit talk to, spoke to me in the middle of that and said but believe me if you're even more than that so i just i know he's up to major things for me he's going to continue i don't know where it's coming from but i know he got this financially and all that and everything so i'm excited about what he's up to as i continue to pray about my situation where we're going back to the classroom um, I'm still waiting here back from school districts or where I'm going to use my business or where I'm just going to how God's going to work it out. So I know he got that. I'm not worried about it. You know, so it's all good. So I'm just summing up that way. So I know I got that. So personally, in this video that I have is talking about, um, I was, I can't remember what I was watching, um, something yesterday when I was driving back from seeing my friend, I saw my a good friend of mine, um, in San Antonio. And then also saw another friend of mine recently. And also I have a life group coming up as a matter of fact on, um, Friday Tuesday of this week or maybe the week of my birthday I'm not sure I had to figure out from the latest of my life or anything like that remember I said a thousand times more this summer leaving for that thousand times more but I was as I was driving back I think I heard a video or something from someone um and they were talking about or I was watching art or something I can remember maybe think about this finances and so it made me start thinking about finances and stuff like that like um you can have so much money. It's a song. It's a song. It was, I was listening to this, but it's a song by Torn Wells called "Empty," and so it's true. Like you can have like so much money, so much money in this world, and if you don't have like the peace of mind that the Holy Spirit gives, what do you really have? I mean, like you can really be happy because money can't make you happy. I remember there's a time when my family and I we had we came. My mom came into inheritance when my grandfather died, so we all had like a lot of money at that particular time. It lasted short term, but we were, we all went shopping and we bought whatever we wanted to buy. We, we had we had a big party. My mom got some stuff catered, and it was a really funny bit for my family because all of us got into some unexpected money. So when you have money, it can make you happy, and that's not and to say it didn't want make you happy. That's not that's not true. It, it can't make you happy, but it's temporary. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just like to think about it like if you don't have the long term satisfaction of knowing that you're going to heaven, if you don't have the peace of mind the Holy Spirit can give, if you don't have things that money cannot buy, like they're talking about Jennifer Lopez, you know what I need for you is not available in stores, so to speak. It's like what we need from Jesus Christ is not really available in stores. It's like when your child is sick or when you, you need healing from cancer or just like knowing that you're right with the universe. It's like there's no price to put on that. Or knowing that your children are happy, for example, or whatever it may be. Like, I don't have a lot right now financially, but I have what I need. And I know that God got the finances. But I would rather, I was just thinking this myself, and this is how I feel. You can think whatever you want to do, do whatever you want to do is your life. You should, I'm a teacher, and part of my philosophy of education is I suggest things. I don't force, I suggest strategies to my students. But um, I just think to myself, like I'd rather my child be happy and that I'd be happy and not have like a million dollars or a trillion dollars or whatever, knowing that I'm happy, then have all of that and then be miserable at the same time or not be as happy as I could. Cause it's like material things are so temporary. It's like, put it in a right, I just think about like put it in a right perspective because we're so obsessed in society, especially Americans. We're so obsessed with stuff, with having, you know, products and, items and have more money and me keeping up with the Joneses and having so much stuff. We're really obsessed with that. And myself, I'm, I mean, I believe in having good things in life and I kind of get a little attitude with my finances. It's not like I can go shopping, get my nails, done, my hair and everything. I kind of get a little attitude sometimes, but God always takes care of me. He always covers me every single time. And I think I'd rather be happy with the little bit that he's allowed me to have and, you know, as continue 
blessed me even more financially. But even if he didn't, like, to me, it's like, if as long as he can do is take care of me, he, the Bible says, don't worry about anything, I got you. But I just think I'd rather be happier with that than having, like, going shopping, one dropping spree, for example, and spending a million dollars on a shopping spree and then coming home and then feeling empty when I sleep at night in my bed. It's like, I just think it's more important to me that I have that right with the universe kind of spirit or knowing that I got it in a way that my children are miserable or that my family is miserable or I, I'm not happy with the blessing of God. That's why the Bible says the blessing of the Lord make it rich and out of no sorrow to it. It's like when you do it God's way, he can help you do it in a way that you'll enjoy the process and you won't be miserable along the way or you won't feel horrible and dirty or you won't feel like you did it the wrong way. You got it the wrong way. Like you, you robbed the bank to get it. You know what I'm saying? You constantly turning your corner, you know, watching your back and stuff like that and seeing, you know, or just like not doing it the way that God wants you to do it. It's like you can do it other ways. And if that's what you want to do, then that's totally fine. And, that, and it's, you don't have to do it one way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you have to do it that way. But I personally, from the scripture that says, For me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord. I'd rather do it God's way because I know that He got me, number one. I'm covered up, number two. He's already a problem after us. I'm telling you, she's food there. He already got that. But I'd rather do it His way because I'm have i I'm right with the universe. I have peace that surpasses all understanding. I know God got me and He's pleased with me accurately on that. You know, I'm filthy rags. But. I, I'm doing I'm right with him and that I'm really happy this way and if I had a child for example if I didn't have everything in the world but my child was happy that's more important to me than just having a million dollars you go to shopping spree spend a million dollars and then after it's gone then what you gonna do and then you can't get your child back if they're miserable or they're unhappy or they're mad at you about something so it's like I just think about I'd rather have less and knowing that the people that I love are happy than have a million dollars and nobody that I love is happy just to make a point about that. So, yeah. So, that's why I was just like, you know what? I'm going to worry about the finances. So I got it. But in the end, if I'm if I'm a peace of mind, the past all understanding, and if I have a right with Jesus Christ, creator of the whole universe, then I'm pretty happy. So, I'm blessed. And I know that God is up to amazing things. And I just believe that this finances, God already got it. It's already done. But more importantly... Eternity is right, and, and that song that um, my soul is happy because I know that God is in control and that He's a good God and He loves me and that He's a good Father. He's a good Father. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. That's it. Have a wonderful afternoon.